All right, I normally don't do reviews on stuff, but I bought, and you might have seen these advertised, these ramps where you can uh, jack them up. And the reason I wanted them is because I was tired of trying to jack up a car high enough to work on. These here, if you raise them up all the way, now this side won't raise up any further than that. So apparently it needs more oil in it or some shit like that, I don't know. But uh, two things you got to watch out for. If you're backing up on, I like my tiny little garage. If you're backing on, one of them will slide. In order for these to work, they have to be perfectly centered. The tire has to be perfectly centered in here. Because if it ain't, you can see, maybe you can see, maybe not. It started to bend one of them flimsy ass. Uh, there we go. You can see how this started to bend and tweak. So I ended up because there was no way of backing it on and having it perfectly straight. So I ended up putting my jack on blocks, jacking up the, the wheel here, centering the ramp. Now that one over there. If you look, the tire is over to the left a little bit, and if you look, it is leaning over a little bit. So I really should jack it up and move the ramp in slightly. Uh, if you drive up on, it's usually easier to center the jack or the, the ramp when you drive on, and they won't slide, but I'll tell you what. I took two or three tries backing it up and finally just said screw it. I figured it should just jack it up, but it don't. So if you're considering, because these ramps are over $200 a pair, uh, not jacking them up, using them like they are, they're higher and longer than regular ramps, and they're great for oil changes and whatnot. You see on this piece of junk I am putting a springs and shocks on the rear and so I wanted it up there and I can sit down on a stool instead of sitting on the ground so there you have it uh, I was it when I when I, I put a jack stand underneath on blocks and when I lowered that ramp down it was enough to get the tire off and that's all I wanted and it just was enough I mean just enough so when I put the spring and stuff on this side, spring and shock, then I'll jack it up and then I'll let this one down and hopefully uh, I'll be able to get the tire off. If not, I can always jack up more. So there you have it. There's uh, the ramps. If you've been looking at these, they're, they're expensive, but they're worth it. just an update uh, I took that second ramp that wouldn't pump up very good and I took the top off I set it on the side put the plug and I was able to fill it up and it worked just fine so one of the things to do is check the make sure they both jack up if they don't just fill it up but otherwise I am quite pleased I bought the ramps uh, just some things to watch out for when you're using them make sure they're centered and make sure that uh, you get the car up on there correctly. So, enjoy.